ഫോർത്ത് കോട്ട് ഓഫ് ടോയോ ടു മി ഹിദ് യോഷി ആൻ മൈ തൗസൻഡ് സെവൻറ്റി എത്ത് ഡേ ആൻഡ് ഐ കണ്ടിന്യൂ ടു പഞ്ച് ഓൺ ടോയോ ടു മി ഹിദ് യോഷി ടിൽ ഐ കെൻ നോക്ക് ഇം ഡൗൺ ആൻഡ് മോർ ഐ എം പഞ്ചിങ് ആൻഡ് മോർ ഐ എം ഗെറ്റിങ് നോക്ക് ഡൗൺ ബൈ ഡീപ് എക്സ്പീരിയൻസ്ഡ് കോഡ്സ് Toyota Mihide Yoshi said greatness as a leader is measured in part by a willingness to accept daunting challenges greatness as a leader is measured people will measure you the nature will measure you the whole world will measure you your body will measure you everything is measured you are thinking nobody is measuring you Hence, the Indian Yoga Shastra says, as a leader, the first thing you have to do is not Yoga Asana or Jnana Yoga or Bhakti Yoga. The first thing is Karma Yoga. You keep doing work without expecting results. Again, the results name will not come. You keep doing with the love. and and with your consciousness you and the work when i say work when people the moment people say hard work him say then they are not in love with the job they have taken a slave job they themselves have become a slave even if it is a slave job if you are as conscious wherever you go you will absorb that totally and in the absorption the opposite is not known you are known such is the power of your karma yoga in that karma yoga even the leader is watching the elder brother is watching and everybody said i want him i want him he is the one such is a power because when you're consciously doing you don't even get time even to lift your head to look up you keep penetrating deeper and deeper and the mind starts enjoying that particular job what they said is kaisan said every day one improvement here it is not to one improvement you cannot stop like certain books when you read it is impossible for you to stop reading because it is just you and the book melts it up for me certain books just drags me and makes me go mad not now now it is years past i read books when i was young hey that is the kind of the power when you are swimming you can know you go in deep inside inside the sea you feel of going deeper and deeper greatness as a leader is measured you are measured when you do your karma yoga and you don't have to say you can roar like a thousand men warrior you have the power of a thousand men warrior much much about that but all with all this why the brahmacharis and our somichis our saints our rishis couldn't create because they were not in love with the materialistic world but then we have to create a security that other other gangsters predators from the other side doesn't come in say and uh, take everything from us and destroy our family hence you are called a leader hence you are called the head of the family hence you are called a teacher a class teacher hence you are called a headmaster hence you are called a principal hence you are called a managing director a chairman hence you are called a counselor an mla a minister chief minister prime minister because you protect to protect you have to go so deep inside and what happened i do not know what happened to the rishis they could have met if they could roar like a thousand there was no thousand man warrior in the karma yuga it is much 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 the penetrating idea so much they started stagnating and sitting in meditation <laughs> sitting in cross like meditating thinking they will become god that one mistake happened they when they say you meditate in the go and sit in the himalayas and meditate means 
Meditation means you leave your slippers and your mind outside your house. When you enter the house, you and your family is only one thought. That is meditation. You and the cooking becomes gilly gilly cooking. You and the, what is needed in the house to grow together. You work together, you laugh together, you take baths together. That is the greatness as a leader is measured in part by willingness to accept daunting challenges. Then there is no challenge, daunting challenges. You say anything tough. You will not think it is not possible. You will just drive and you reach the place you find it is not that powerful. Yes, because you worked very hard. You find the other side very, very soft. You can penetrate. And you become like a water, you can penetrate any part of the world, any rocks in the world. Greatness as a leader is measured in part by your willingness to accept daunting challenges. That comes from your, from your childhood, which you have, as a father, it's your duty to be an example of making sure that you will not take food without sweating. Whether you are sweated in your factory, when you come back home, a second sweat on your maintenance part, on your family part, together working very hard to show your physical strength, on the dancing, on, on the song bhakti yoga. Then on your yoga and your martial arts. Then on your land, you touch your feet on the earth, on the mud, and you grow varieties, and then that varieties your child, your family, your people watch and see how you work to fall in love with the rainwater harvesting and you collect as much of rainwater. You work hard to create beautiful ponds and lakes and rivers to accept that rainwater. You create so much of solar that you don't pay a single pie on electricity bill. That is the greatness as a leader. If you had that kind of a leader, if you had that kind of father in a house or a guru in that house or a rishi or a samaji, then no villages, no villages, no part of the world, especially in 365 days, 300 days of beautiful sunlight, beautiful sunlight. No land in this land will ever go to get electricity. It will run on solar, only on solar. Yes, beautiful. And enough rainwater, you will not be blackmailed by people telling you water is going off, there's no water, there's no water. No, 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 no. Be a leader. Greatness is measured in part by your willingness to love, your willingness to embrace, your willingness to, to accept and push your energy to the extremes so that the waste is smoothed out and new energy builds up. To accept daunting challenges. This willingness helps. And then you don't think this and that. Because anything is accepted. Yes. Then you don't feel this girl or a boy. It's love. Explosive love. That is the willingness. Which helps you to help you. And help the whole world.